Hello again. Today we're going to be creating halftones. Halftones is a way to create either shadows or highlights in a very suitable way for creating a print, a print ready file for later. The first thing that you want to do is create a new layer um, on your file where you apply the shadows on. Pick a very soft brush so that you will have basically very smooth edges and set the opacity down to 50% or something. Of course you can change this value depending on how dark uh, you want your shadows or either highlights to appear. And now uh, little by little, uh, well first of all you have to pick black. And now start painting all the parts where you want your shadows to appear. Well, in this case, as you can see, um, I am doing it very fast. So, of course, you want to do it in a more uh, <laughs> in a more detailed way and with more respect with yourself. But uh, you get the idea, right? Okay. Now we're gonna paint. Uh, we're gonna move the layer app so we can see this part and now we're gonna set the opacity even uh, lower and now we're gonna have different values of the of the same shadow Now we're gonna click command or control in PC your layer. This way you're gonna select uh, all that's inside that layer. We're gonna copy that on a grayscale uh, document and then we're gonna paste it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to mode and we're gonna convert this image to a bit bitmap image and we're gonna select halftone screen and now as you can see um, the lower the uh, the amount of lines per inch as we're gonna see now the bigger the dots are gonna be what we want to do in this case is to um, or at least what I always use is I always use 40 lines per inch. This way we're gonna have more details in our in our uh, half tone. Now we're gonna turn the image back to grayscale. We're gonna use color range to select all the blacks. And then we're gonna copy that into the previous document. Okay. Now we're gonna rename that layer. We're gonna call it, we're gonna name it half tones. And then we're gonna get, get rid of the uh, layer that uh, had the orig original shadows. The last thing that we want to do is to apply a color overlay effect and in this case I'm going to use the same color uh, of, the, of one of the lines, of one of the layers, the previous layers. Uh, that way we're going to uh, use the same color for the halftones. So as you can see it's not that difficult, maybe it, it seems a little bit uh, complicated, but once you do it it's a piece of cake. See ya!